I'm Marty Pfeiffer, and this is my hero's journey. The year is 1994. NAFTA came into effect, one of the largest and most significant trade packs in world history. John Candy and Kurt Cobain died, and I graduated from Whitworth College with a degree in music. After graduating, I was at a loss for what to do. My degree in music didn't seem to offer an obvious career path. If I wanted to keep doing music, I'd have to find my own road. So what did I do instead? Well, I got rehired at a grocery store I worked at during summer breaks from college. And I started to get disillusioned with music. I stopped practicing, stopped writing music, and stopped performing. My dad noticed I was taking the easy path and decided he needed to put a stop to that. So he found me a desktop publisher job at Kinko's. Back in the 90s, this was a great entry point for graphic design, as you got to work with lots of different clients. This is where I met my first mentor, Janine, who was one of the best bosses I'd ever had. After a few months, Janine was happy enough with my work that she allowed me to work the second shift. She would work in the morning and I would come in in the afternoon and overlap with her for a few hours and then I'd be on my own. I was designing a lot of my projects and I was also speaking with her clients and making any changes needed when they came in to pick up their job. Working with Janine was very fun and I grew a lot from it. So as our clients grew, Janine decided that we needed to have graphic design services on the weekends. So she hired a call arts student named Klee. And Klee was a thorn in my side. I saw her as competition. She came from a very different background from me. Cal Arts is a fancy, prestigious private art school. And I came from a kind of hobbyist mindset. I felt inferior to her in some ways. She was able to do things I wasn't able to do quite yet. So I just had to deal with it and understand that, okay, I'm not at her level, but that's okay. I'm the full-timer, she's the part-timer. But always in the back of my mind was the idea that mm, there's someone here that maybe other customers will think is the better designer. And I had trouble with that. And that meant I had trouble with her. An opportunity arrived for me to go to a different store and manage my own graphic design department. So I took it. I learned quickly that being a boss is a lot different than being an employee. The store that I worked at had a bit of a problem. As it turns out, I was going to supervise someone who used to be the boss. His name was Scott and I was happy with his work. However, he had problems with authority and that led him to being demoted. I thought we had a pretty good relationship, but I was having trouble getting him to do things my way. He would invent rules and choose to impose them on other coworkers, and even the big boss. I was a brand new boss, and he was older than me, and so I felt kind of uncomfortable giving him lots of direction. But actually, he needed lots of direction to stay in line, and I wasn't able to give him that. So I talked it over with my boss, and I decided to quit Kinko's. After leaving, I pursued other opportunities outside of the design world. At one point, I was selling insurance over the phone. I got a lot of different experiences in life. Eventually, I worked my way back to being a graphic designer for a major healthcare company. At the end of 15 years, our department was restructured, and I was given an opportunity to take a severance package because my job was going away. But that's okay. I was ready to move on to the next thing. And in the back of my mind, I was always thinking, you know what? It'd be great if I could continue my education in my chosen field of graphic design. So I began taking classes at College of the Canyons. Originally, I wanted to spend a year and get a certificate. I decided to spend an extra semester and wound up getting an associate's degree in graphic design. I began working as a freelance graphic designer. I also continued taking computer classes and singing in the college choir. One of the professors in the CAWT department was planning on retiring, and he was looking for someone to continue his classes. 
and he saw in me a person that could do that. So first I started as a teaching assistant so that I could gain teaching experience. And then two years later, I was hired as an adjunct instructor. Now I teach Photoshop and InDesign as well as other classes. I'm finally home. <laughs>